Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the vlog. So today we have to take Sydney to band tryouts or a fitting or something like that. Honestly, I don't know what it is. All I know is it's something so she can go try and see what instrument she can play. What you mean? It's always been about the tuba, shawty. Now, I do know she want to play the clarinet, but from my understanding, there is no guarantee that the clarinet is the instrument she will be getting. So with that being said, we have to take her to the school so she can try whatever instrument it is she will be getting or whatever it is they want her to play. Now, honestly, all this is a surprise to me because I didn't even know she was interested in band or that she wanted to play an instrument or anything like that. But as a supportive father, here we go. Also, I am a huge, and I do mean huge, lasagna fan. So the wife and I will be going to the grocery store today on the hunt for some macro-friendly and diabetic-friendly lasagna noodles. Now, they do have some options on Amazon, but the wife and I, not, we're not really trying to have to order them off of Amazon every single time we want to make lasagna. So we're hoping we can go and find something in the store, like possibly need. maybe... My wife's in the pit twerk. <laughs> My legs hurt. Your legs hurt, so you twerk? I was just wiggling in them. No, you wasn't wiggling in them. You was in the twerk. <laughs> I'm wiggling. You were twerking for the work. These waffles dry. Put some syrup on them. Anyway, but yeah, we're trying to, we're going to go to the stores today and see if we can find some, uh, like I said, macro friendly and diabetic friendly, uh, well, weight loss friendly and diabetic friendly lasagna noodles. But here we go. Let's go and get into this vlog. Hey guys. So are you excited? Yeah, and nervous. So I feel like they're gonna um, give me some questions that I might not know. Question? Yeah, I, oh, so I thought you were supposed to be playing an instrument. Oh, okay. See y'all, she know about just as much as we do. But we gotta go, cause we, we be on CP time. So guys, I have no issues with my kids, you know, playing the sport or doing nothing like that. But the thing is, actually as a dad, I actually encourage my children to play sports or do play instrument, anything they wanna do. But the thing is, Two ain't never showed no signs or nothing that she wanted to play an instrument, be in a band, none of that. Look, she just lost, she just lost, y'all. Go to the door over here. To be honest, I ain't never even seen Two play an instrument. I ain't even never seen my baby even play a gazoo. So I don't know what to expect, being honest with y'all. I'm, I'm kinda intrigued to see how this all go. So we can find out together. Oh yeah. So the way it works is they um they gotta go to like a bunch of different stations. And I guess like literally they're just trying out what instruments she like. As y'all hear that instrument right there in the background. But they trying out all the different instruments that she like. And she gonna put the one she like on the list. Then once she has the list, I'm guessing they choose the between that list on what she's gonna play or, Six. or what, I don't know. You know how to spell iTunes? I don't know, they had kids explaining it to adults. Cloud, so we just gonna like, figure it out as we go. So wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Okay, too. So we know you wanna play clarinet how did you enjoy it um i enjoyed it pretty well what i didn't say do you remember what he did uh a little huh a little a little hey i got a real question did he clean that thing out what did he clean it with is it some spray some spray no 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 hell no no no! Yeah, we gonna use some uh, Tylenol when we get home. Tylenol? <laughs> we gonna use some, uh, some Mucinex or something. 
Yeah, yeah get you hey, get you one of these peppermint ales or it's a star. Yeah, you're gonna get one of those after every experience to kill whatever journey in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. So I'll get guys that's a wrap we have been in here probably like almost an hour and a half okay mom said almost two hours but um i think it went well she done ran to the car i was gonna have her talk to y'all yeah she been saying it right but we gonna sit down later on and talk as a family we think we know what she's gonna go with but we're gonna sit down and talk as a family and we're gonna let y'all know later in the video what what she gonna go with as far as instrument but right now go in the comment section right now and y'all i'm gonna give y'all a list of instruments on the side on the screen somewhere and i want y'all to tell me what y'all think she gonna pick or what you know what we gonna come up with so y'all go in the comments right now and let me know. And yeah, we are gonna see who right. But <laughs> on with the rest of this rainy day. All right, guys, just pulling up at Kroger. Finna go ahead and see what they got to offer when it comes to these lasagna noodles. Now, this is not the first time my wife and I tried to find these noodles now. Now, the first time we tried to find them, it didn't go so well. Now, in all fairness to lasagna, it was kind of in the spur of the moment. And we was kind of like, I think we found it on what, like yo, like a TikTok video or something? It was like an Instagram recipe video. So we just walked in H-E-B like, oh, let's go find these noodles. Now these right here, these are some of the ones that H-E-B had too. But this ain't really what we are looking for because if you look on it, that still look like a lot of carbs to me. I don't know. But if you're looking at the all the other options they got to offer, and you really like sum them up, those are still lower than a lot of the other options that they have to offer. Okay, so like if we're looking at these right here, the skin of this is a regular lasagna noodle. But it's 42 grams of carbs. And that ain't too much different than what, you know. What we already had on the low car option. Now y'all, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But you do get a lot of protein with these right here. But they don't have a lasagna noodle option that I don't see. So, y'all know what that means. Kroger ain't gonna be it. On to the next stop. Now, in defense of H-E-B, I don't know why I gotta defend H-E-B. Now they did have some more low carb options for lasagna noodles, but they was just sold out at the time. If you know HEV, they be sold out stuff a lot because I'm telling y'all, it's like a Texas staple grocery store. So we still might end up back there depending on how the search go to see if they got them back in. But I don't know. I, I just hope we find some lasagna noodles that make sense because bro, I really want this daggum lasagna. What? We supposed to be looking at a lasagna noodles. They want some Alani drinks. Alani, if you want to sponsor me, I would be so grateful and so thankful. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> we didn't get the noodles at Kroger, but we did have a coupon for some zero sugar A and W. So the wins of the win. All right, guys, just pulled up at Walmart, trying to see what we can find up in here. Walmart typically has good options, but when it comes to like these low car, where's my baby? There she go. Oh, she bad, look at that Bronco. When it comes to these low car lasagna options, we gonna see. We gonna see what they got. <laughs> I don't even know 
Yeah, Walmart got lasagna. Oh, okay. Let's go with some lasagna. See, everybody got the same one. Is that? Move your hand, wife. The exact same one. That ain't what we looking for. And then, Walmart buys like a mug. They only got, Walmart only got great value brand and this, uh, Bellinelli. However you say it. I, I ain't say nothing about no Shanti and Nelly. I said Walmart bias. They only got the Walmart Great Value brand and Bella Bella Nelly. However you say it. Gorilla. Gorilla. How y'all say this? Barilla. I call it Bella Nelly. Oh man. Bella Nelly. Oh, see, see y'all. They got this. It's a uh, protein pasta. They call them a name, y'all. See, even uh Bella Nelly got protein pasta. Let's see. How many protein you got? Ten. I think ban ban Banza or whatever, Bonza night. Bonanza got better pro. It is a t shirt. They got better pro. Um, bruh. How hard is it to come to a regular grocery store? And find low carb pasta. I'm glad we're in here though, cause I need some more of them low carb flatbread for my pizza. We will be getting some of those. All right, so didn't get the pasta noodle. I did get some more of the flatbreads for the pizza. Picked up some uh, cottage cheese. Got some oranges in a cup. That was free for the little Walmart. Um, plus, people they were signing people up. We already got Walmart Plus. But since we do already have it, but since we do already have it, um, they they gave us the uh, the bag and the uh, cup for free, and as well all those cutie oranges y'all saw in there, the oranges they was handing out, they gave us those for free as well. So on to the next stop. All right, y'all, we back at the crib as you can tell, and it was a crazy lasagna event lasagna noodle yeah lasagna noodle adventure here's sydney and jojo but what we end up going with is the heb oven ready lasagna and i will put the macros and everything for it on the screen we I, we want to look for something that we knew we wouldn't have to cook i want it to be quick because what i'm trying to put together is a um like a quick lasagna dish it ain't one of those ones that you put in the oven and you got to make a whole casserole. I'm trying to make a few individual type casserole things. It's really for like a meal prep type of deal. So we end up, like, so we end up going to ATV brand. But what I am going to do as well is I'm going to go ahead and get the, um, it's another brand on Amazon that I saw that I like. I'm going to go ahead and, and get those. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do a recipe for both. And then when I do it, I film it like we did the pizza. And if you hadn't seen the pizza video, annotation on the screen for it right here, go check it out. Low carb macro friendly pizza. But I do the macros for both, and I let you guys decide which one you want to go get. Do you want to go get the lasagna you can find in the store, or do you want to go get the ones you got to get off of Amazon? So that's what we end up doing. Plus, plus I mean, the ones we got was the low carb one we could have found in the store. Like all the rest of them. It wasn't a big, big difference in any of them, to be quite honest with you. But this was the lowest one we could find. So that's why we ended up going with this one. And as well, I remember I said earlier in the video, I told y'all that, and it's funny that she right here because she ain't even expecting this. I told y'all earlier that we were going to let y'all know what instrument Sydney, well, she had she had to choose her three favorites. So I remember I told y'all I want y'all to look on that list that I put her the instruments up on the side, and I want y'all to go through and let me know what y'all think she chose. So she's here with JoJo. So give the people your top three list starting at number three. Do you remember? Okay, so number three was the saxophone. Then number two was the clarinet. And then, number one was the euphonium, I think that's called. Yeah, that's how you say it, euphonium. So it was the saxophone, the clarinet, 
and Euphonium was number one on the list. If you don't know what a Euphonium is, it's in the uh, it's in the tuba family. So it's it was the one that she felt the most comfortable with. We went in with her loving the clarinet, wanting to do a clarinet, but as they let her play different, you know, different instruments, she ended up falling in love with the what? Euphonium. Euphon yeah, Euphonium. That thing. So that's what she ended up going with. So here in the next couple of weeks, uh, sometime in May, we will have a band baby. We don't know exactly which one she's gonna play yet, but it's gonna be between those three. So they they try to give the kids whatever whatever there's room in the band for 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 one of the three options that they pick. So yeah. Something else I wanted to do different. I have this book here. For y'all who don't know, I am a man of faith. I am a follower of Christ. I have this book here because I know there's a bunch of dads who watch me as well. I can tell by my analytics. But I have this book, this book here that my father bought me. Um, y'all, he probably bought me this book probably about six years ago, five or six. It was before we moved to Texas. And what I said I wanted to start doing at the end of every video I wanted to read a passage from this book. It's just some scriptures, but it's something just to motivate. As you can see, it says, God, God's promises for fathers. So today, we're going to read from the passage of 1 John chapter 2, verses 24 through 25. And it reads, Therefore, let that abide in you which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he has promised us, eternal life. So y'all let that marinate in your spirit. Let that fester. And let the Holy Spirit lead you to wherever that takes you. I put, the, I put this passage in the description as well. But with that being said, Y'all know how we get out. Y'all know how we do this. God love you. We love you. We love you. And remember, life is better when you're you. Y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.